The paper delves into the potential of early dark energy, EED, being a dynamic entity and its implications on cosmological observables. It introduces a parameterization of the equation of state, allowing for an equation of state W that differs from the cosmological constant, W equals 1. The authors discover that the present data exhibit a mild preference for non-C early dark energy with Wi equals 0.78, leading to a DCH2 improvement of 2.5 at the expense of one more parameter. However, Wi is only weakly constrained, with Wi less than 0.56 at 1 sigma. The study concludes that while promising, a dynamical EAD cannot resolve both H0 and sigma 8 tensions simultaneously. The authors investigate a dynamical early dark energy EAD, model, where the equation of state of EAD changes over time. Inspired by previous work on a neutrino-like particle interacting with a scalar field, they explore whether a dynamical EAD model is preferred over a purely frozen behavior, and if it can provide insights into the mechanism of dark energy at different epochs of the universe. The authors model the EAD component using a generalized fluid description specifying its equation of state W, sound speed C2s, and an isotropic stress, set to zero. The equation of state is parameterized as weed, A, equals WFWI, 1 plus, AC, A, carrot, 3, WFWI, where WI and WF are the initial and final equations of state parameters. AC is the scale factor at the time of transition, and P controls the width of the transition. The background energy density of the EAD component evolves as rho EAD, A, equals rho EAD, 1, times express, integral, 1 plus weed, A, DA. To describe perturbations in the fluid, the authors employ the generalized dark matter formalism. The perturbation equations in the synchronous gauge are given by two equations, describing the evolution of the density perturbation delta EAD and velocity divergence theta EAD of the EAD fluid. The sound speed C2s relates the density and pressure perturbations as C2s equals delta P, drive. The authors implement the equations and initial conditions in a modified version of the Boltzmann code class. Assuming the system starts in the radiation-dominated era, with negligible early dark energy density at early times, they obtain the initial conditions delta E, 1 plus weed, equals, 4 3 C2s, 2, 8 plus 6 C2 is 12 C2 A, K eta, squared, and theta E equals C2 S, 2, 8 plus 6 C2 is 12 C2 A, K, K eta, cubed. These initial conditions are used to solve the equations for delta E and theta E in power of, K eta, squared. The impact of varying the initial equation of state Wi on early dark energy, E, background and perturbation dynamics is explored. By modifying Wi to 1.0, 0.8, 0 0.6, and 0.4, the authors demonstrate the effects on EDE's background energy density and perturbations. As Wi increases, the transition to the EDE-dominated era becomes smoother, its influence on the expansion rate persists longer, and the sound horizon shrinks. This is illustrated in figures 1 and 2, which depict the evolution of EDE's background energy density. Furthermore, figure 3 shows how varying Wi affects E density fluctuations, highlighting the impact on modes entering the horizon at different times. The governing equation for E perturbations is a damped simple harmonic oscillator, whose solution exhibits oscillatory behavior. The frequency of these oscillations depends on the mode's wave number and damping terms. This research delves into the dynamics of E focusing on the initial conditions and their consequences for background and perturbation dynamics. By examining the interplay between WI and EDE's evolution, this study provides insight into the universe's development, particularly during the early stages. The evolution of early dark energy, ED, perturbations is analyzed in this study, with a focus on the impact of varying the equation of state parameter, WEED, on the growth and oscillations of these perturbations. Three distinct modes with wave numbers k equals 0.01, 0.06, and 0.3 mpc1 are considered, which enter the horizon at different times relative to the critical time ac when the eed becomes dynamical. For modes that enter the horizon well before ac, such as k equals 0.3 mpc1, 
the growth of delta e is initially driven by the initial condition given in equation 5, which shows a proportional growth to k tau, 2 and 1 plus weed. Consequently, models with larger weed exhibit faster growth. After AC, the solution of delta e becomes oscillatory but decreasing in amplitude, with higher weed models having a higher amplitude at this stage. In the region a greater than AC, the solution remains oscillatory, but the damping factor switches sign, acting as a driving force and leading to oscillations whose amplitude is larger for modes that had a larger amplitude at AC, i.e., modes with larger weed. For modes that enter the horizon well after AC, such as K equals 0.01 MPC1, all modes have a similar evolution since they are frozen when the fields become dynamical. Around horizon crossing, all modes grow proportionally to 1 plus weed, while after horizon crossing they oscillate with increasing amplitude. For modes that enter the horizon around AC, such as K equals 0.06 MPC1, the growth of delta E is still given by the initial condition before and around horizon crossing. Modes oscillate with increasing amplitude after horizon crossing. However, weed evolves in time as the modes enter the horizon, and can even become positive around AC, giving a non-trivial time evolution to the damping term. This leads to modes with larger amplitude at AC having a smaller amplitude of oscillations at a greater than AC. The figure illustrates the effects of varying weed on the evolution of delta E for these three modes, providing a visual representation of the different growth and oscillation patterns discussed above. Varying the W parameter has a profound impact on the evolution of the whale potential, particularly in the context of early dark energy ED, models. By analyzing the effects of W parameter variation, the authors demonstrate its influence on the Hubble rate and the clustering properties of the universe, leading to distinct oscillations in the whale potential. These oscillations are more pronounced for modes entering the horizon before the onset of ED, where a larger W parameter results in a longer ED phase and hence greater suppression of the whale potential. Residual oscillations around the time of EDE's onset are also observed decaying in amplitude and becoming more frequent for larger K-modes. This detailed exploration of the whale potential's evolution under varying W parameters provides crucial insights into the behavior of the universe in the context of ED models, highlighting the significance of the W parameter in shaping the universe's evolution. The impact of varying the ED parameter WI on the CMB and matter power spectra is a crucial aspect of understanding the universe's evolution. In the context of early dark energy models, the ED parameter plays a significant role in shaping the cosmic microwave background, CMB, and matter power spectra. The CMBTT power spectra exhibit two distinct effects due to varying WI values. Firstly, there is a diffusion damping effect, which leads to a suppression at high L values. This is caused by the increased photonbaryon fluid's viscosity and heat conduction resulting in a decrease in the amplitude of the CMB and isotropies at smaller scales. Secondly, the sachs wolf contributions lead to an enhancement of the first acoustic peak amplitudes. This occurs as the ED parameter affects the gravitational potential, influencing the photon's trajectory and thus the observed CMB and isotropies. In terms of the matter power spectra, an increase in the ED parameter results in a suppression at smaller scales and an enhancement at larger scales. This variation affects the clustering properties of matter, with implications for the formation of structures in the universe. The sigma-8 value, which represents the amplitude of matter fluctuations on scales of 8 mpc, h, is also influenced by the ED parameter. Higher values of Wi result in lower sigma-8 values, indicating less clustering at these scales. To constrain the parameters of the ED model, a combination of CMB, BOW, and other datasets are used. These datasets provide complementary information, allowing researchers to better understand the universe's evolution and the role of dark energy in shaping it. By analyzing these datasets together, scientists can gain insights into the properties of the ED parameter and its implications for our understanding of the cosmos. The early dark energy ED, model is examined in this study, with a focus on its methodology and results. The baseline cosmology is established through the specification of lambda CDM parameters and additional ED parameters. Markov chain Monte Carlo, MCMC, 
analyses are conducted using various combinations of cosmic microwave background, CMB, baryon acoustic oscillation, BOW, and supernovae datasets. Three ED model variations are explored, each with distinct parameters. The results reveal that the 4 p model exhibits an improved CHI 2 minutes and a higher Hubble parameter value compared to the 3 p and 2 p models. However, the equation of state parameter, WI, is only weakly constrained, with an upper limit of WI less than 0.565 at 1 sigma. The incorporation of the S8 prior further enhances the understanding of the model's implications. Notably, the EAD model demonstrates potential in resolving the Hubble tension, with the 4 p model showing a higher Hubble parameter value. Furthermore, the model may play a role in alleviating the S8 tension. The findings of this study highlight the significance of the EAD model in addressing these pressing cosmological issues. The study delves into the implications of early dark energy, EAD, beyond the slow roll approximation, particularly examining the role of the parameter WI typically set to 1. By varying WI, the expansion rate prior to recombination changes, resulting in a higher Hubble constant, H0, and a lower matter density, sigma 8. This background effect leads to a suppression of the whale potential, which in turn causes a decrease in power at small scales. The analysis employs three variants of the EAD model, each with different degrees of freedom for WI and WF. The results demonstrate an improvement in CHI 2 minutes of 2.4, indicating a better fit to the data. However, introducing WI does not alleviate the tension between H0 and S8 simultaneously in the EAD model. This highlights the complexities involved in reconciling the discrepancies between local and cosmic measurements of these parameters. The analysis focuses on posterior distributions in the lambda cold dark matter, lambda CDM, and extended dark energy. EAD, models, utilizing Planck plus BOW plus Pantheon plus H0 data. It highlights the inclusion of the W parameter, which, despite not being detected, yields a weak upper limit at 1 sigma, WI less than minus 0.565. The model with a free W parameter shows a slightly larger H0 and a decreased value of S8 by tilde operator 0.4 sigma. However, incorporating S8 data reduces the preference for non-zero EAD, with a degradation in the CHI 2 minutes. The results indicate that a non-C EAD cannot resolve both H0 and S8 tensions simultaneously. The discussion emphasizes the need for further work to address the increase in small-scale power in EAD cosmology and explores avenues for resolving cosmic tensions simultaneously. The S8 prior a crucial component in understanding the properties of dark energy, plays a pivotal role in constraining cosmological parameters. This study delves into the significance of the S8 prior, examining its relationship with other key parameters, such as the matter density parameter omega m and the amplitude of matter fluctuation sigma 8. The S8 prior is essential in understanding the universe's expansion, as it affects the inference of these parameters, which in turn impact our comprehension of the cosmic microwave background radiation, large-scale structure, and weak lensing observations. The methodology employed in this study involves a Bayesian inference framework, utilizing Markov chain Monte Carlo simulations to sample the posterior distribution of the cosmological parameters. This approach enables the estimation of the S8 prior and its covariance with other parameters, providing insights into the degeneracies between these parameters. The results of this study indicate a strong correlation between the S8 prior and omega m, with a moderate correlation with sigma 8. These findings have significant implications for our understanding of the universe's expansion, suggesting that the S8 prior plays a vital role in constraining the properties of dark energy. Furthermore, the study highlights the importance of considering the S8 prior in future cosmological analyses, as it can significantly impact the accuracy of parameter inference. The authors also discuss the limitations of their study, acknowledging the assumptions made regarding the priors and the potential impact of systematic uncertainties on the results. They emphasize the need for future work to address these limitations, including the exploration of alternative priors and the incorporation of additional datasets to further constrain the S8 prior. In the context of dark energy models, the initial equation of state parameter WI is typically assumed to fall within a standard range. 
However, this study explores the possibility of varying WI beyond its conventional bounds, examining the implications for model performance. Specifically, the analysis considers WI values ranging from 0.33 to 1, comparing the results to the standard prior. The outcomes are presented in Figure 8, which illustrates that models with WI greater than 0.33 can achieve performances comparable to standard dark energy models. Notably, these alternative models can resolve the H0 tension without exacerbating the SA tension. The CHI-2 values for different models are provided in the appendix, offering a detailed assessment of the model fits. This investigation demonstrates that relaxing the standard constraints on WI can lead to viable dark energy models that reconcile the H0 and S8 tensions, thereby providing new insights into the nature of dark energy. The table and figure on page 12 of the research paper delve into the impact of altering the prior on the parameter WI, a critical component in the analysis of cosmological data. The study centers around the reconstruction of cosmological parameters from Planck plus Bau plus SN1 a data, focusing particularly on H0 and S8 when WI falls within the range. 0.333, 1. The table presents a comparison between two distinct priors for WI. One where WI element of 0.333, 1, and another where WI element of 1, 0. This comparison is vital to understand how varying the prior on WI influences the inferred values of other cosmological parameters such as H0, omega b, omega cdm, log 10, as, ns, tau ryo, feed, log 10, zc, wf, sigma 8, and chi 2 minutes. The results show that modifying the prior on WI can substantially affect the mean and error estimates of these parameters. The figure visually illustrates the effects of changing the prior on WI, providing a clearer representation of how the parameter space changes with different assumptions about WI. This visual representation is crucial for researchers to quickly identify trends and correlations between parameters under various conditions. In essence, this page emphasizes the importance of considering different priors for WI in cosmological parameter estimation. By comparing the results obtained with two distinct priors, the study demonstrates that the choice of prior can significantly influence the inferred values of key cosmological parameters. This finding underscores the need for careful consideration of prior distributions in future studies to ensure accurate and reliable results. The provided tables present CHI-2 values for various cosmological models, including lambda CDM, 2 param EDE, 3 param ED, and 4 param EDE, with and without priors from SH0ES and S8. Data from Planck High and Lowell TT, TE, EE, Lensing, Pantheon, Bao from BOSS DR12, and SH0ES is included. Lower CHI-2 values indicate a better fit to the data. The tables demonstrate how priors affect the fit, particularly in Planck Lull TT and lensing data, crucial for understanding model performance and the impact of external priors.